Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome welcome back to my channel. My name is Tiffany. How are you? We do knitting related things on this channel, whether that be knitting blogs, hauls, reviews, fiber arts, maybe not knitting related, maybe crochet, maybe anything I want on this channel. And today we are doing, I know I haven't done this in a really long time, but a spring and summer knitting plans video. So these are kind of on my list things that I would love to knit if not knit right now but I don't have any time for that and I am really excited to share with you what I have in mind. Thank you so much for Semper for sponsoring this video. I actually have been getting like a little bit more into scents. I was obsessed with the Chloe Rose when I was in high school. Every time I went into a Sephora I would go in and try the sample. I've actually been trying out more stuff so it's been really nice with Scentbird. But Scentbird is a fragrance subscription service that allows you to try out new scents every month for only $17 dollars it's super flexible so you can skip a month or you can actually add on to your purchase and it gives you just enough for 30 day supply so you're able to try a fragrance without committing to a full bottle because Fragrances can get really expensive. Semperit has over 600 designer brands that you can choose from. They were kind enough to send me some of their fragrance to try. So each one came with like a different card that explains kind of what the smell is and how it smells. I love Chloe. I really wanted to try just their basic one. It has a hint of peony, lychee. I really love it. I've been wearing it like every day. Um, I also have the Love Me, the Onyx perfume. It has like hazelnut, peony, vanilla, sandalwood. This is the Brown Girl Jane Lamo. It has burnt bergamot, love bergamot, coastal sage, Italian lemon, gardenia, and coconut water. And then finally, I wanted to try out the Gucci, Gucci Bloom Aqua de Fori. Sorry, butchering these names. But it has green galbanium, jasmine closed buds, and sandalwood. So they come in these really cute pouches and you just open it up. This is how the packaging looks like. It comes with a locking system so you don't accidentally spray it in your bag and then just spray it and you're good to go. Actually see the inside that it says it's Chloe. See how much liquid you get. It fits perfectly. This is the bag I use every day. I just fit it right in there and I can just freshen up whenever the smell dies down. Yeah, so I have a code for you guys. It's Tiffany55. You can get 55% off your first month at Scentbird, which is only $8 for your first month. So thank you so much Scentbird and let's get on with the video. So grab a cup of tea and let's get started. I feel like with these videos, it's so fun to do seasonally because you get to see like what different designers are putting out and what's like kind of, I don't want to say in, but what's like really exciting and like really trendy, I guess. Not trendy in the sense of like fast fashion trendy, but like trendy is in like what designers are coming out with um, every season. Just wanted to start off. I think everyone and anyone is obsessed with the Issa Yura Breeze collection. I don't know what it is, but this one like hit. Every time I like see on Instagram, like a new pattern is coming out. I get so excited to see what everyone is coming up with. Issa Yura is just a yarn brand in Denmark and they just have a bunch of uh, different designers making different things with their yarn and this collection is more focused I guess on like more of the summer and spring pieces some of the things that I've been eyeing I again love the breeze bag it's by Petit Knit I guess it's kind of just like an upgraded version of you know those cotton bags that you see everywhere um, that I think you can buy on like Ikea for really cheap but I think it's also really fun to make it and I really like the pattern it's super similar to the French market bag so up to you which one you like more. I do really like my French market bag and that's why I think having this one as like a set together. You guys know I love my sets. It's a little big but I think if you just made it a little smaller maybe added a lining it would be perfect. Uh, I don't know what yarn I want to use with that one but I think I can just find something in my stash and come up with something which I think would be really fun. Next one I like audibly gassed when I saw this one. It is the Levitate Top by my favorite things knitwear, a part of the Breeze collection. Again, right here. I don't know if I'm just in love with this one picture of it on this model, but it is so nice. I didn't think that it was gonna be this nice. I was like, oh, it's just like whatever. But when I saw it on this lady, I fell in love. I think I bought the pattern like immediately. I think it's a weird yarn combination. It's like cotton and then eco soft, which is like a like a fuzzy base with a cotton. I don't know. I'm not too sure about that. I might switch up, but I definitely need to knit it. I just think it's a perfect, like slouchy, like the post, the most perfect slouchy type of wrap. And I think it would just go really nice with so many things. Like you could wear it with like a dress, like anything, honestly. I, so many different ways to style it. I am super excited to knit up. If I have the time, the question is always, is if I have 
is if I have the time I'm so behind on all like my winter knitting that it's kind of scary that spring is already here and I don't even know if we have enough time to make things for the summer. And then I think I think they've, I think she's been releasing it like every couple days. But the Pebble Top came out. It is by it is by Lynette. I don't know her name, but that's her company name. Again, everything will be linked in the description. I am in love. I know I've said I'm in love, but we're just falling in love with everything. You're allowed to be in love with multiple patterns. This one I think it's just it was. It's like everything I've always wanted in a really nice cami. I just didn't even think it was possible. It, it just has, it's like a really nice cami top and it just has really a beautiful lace kind of detail around all of the edges. And I think it's a really cool concept. Uh, I read in the pattern that it calls for a crochet hook. So I'm so excited. I love the idea of combining both crochet and knit together. Uh, so again, your girl bought that pattern right up so fast. I, it was, it was, de it was devastating, but I had to do it. I don't think it's released out yet, but it probably will be once I, uh, once I finish this video. Um, but it's the seashell set. I have seen like a itty bitty, like her, the girls crouching in like a little uh, position, but it looks so good. I'm so excited for this one to come out. It is stunning queen. I have been looking and I think I'm going to make one like my own pattern, but just like a tank top, long midi skirt dress set. I think it would be so good because you can wear the skirt differently you can wear the top differently but you can wear them both together and i think that is just what makes a look a look you know probably buy that right when it comes out and uh cry because i can't use any of this a year because they're so hard to get but i'm hoping maybe if i can find some this a year somewhere in europe i can like buy it and then knit it there that would be like dream come true and then wear it on the trip there's no way but I can dream. <laughs> so that's it for the Issa Your collection, but definitely go check it out because it's so nice. There are so many other things in it. I just wasn't like deeply in love and I need to be deeply in love. Next designer, I, after seeing the Pebble Top, I kind of fell in love again with Lynette. I am so sad that none of her books are in English. I would have bought it like right off the shelf, like right off of any shelf. I would have bought it because it was so it's so pretty, but thankfully it, she said that all of the patterns are on the website. We can live with that. So some of the things I got, I'm really excited to try the Leah scarf. I think it's really simple. Like I think doing it in like a black and cream would just be really nice to wrap around the neck, uh, just to add something like a little extra to a really basic outfit. It's just a weird combination as well. I don't know. It's like a weird fluffy mixed with like a cotton or something or a wool. I don't know, weird texture, but I'd probably keep it the same. Uh, I also have the Hoja scarf or Hoya scarf. I love this scarf and I don't know why. It's just something about the weird bumpiness of it as well as like the lace. I am obsessed with lace scarves. I think they just look so delicate and just would really add just a really nice texture to a simple like if you're wearing like a white dress and you just had this like little wrap around your like neck um i saw this video of this girl styling different like different ways you can style a scarf and she like wrapped it around here wrapped around her like belt wrapped around her neck it just looked really just really chic i don't know i don't want to use the word chic but really classy and i think i'm all about that classy look right now uh, I am on the hunt for more lace scarves or shawls, so this is not the end of our obsession. I also got the palm tea, which I'm super excited to try out. I wanted to do a peacock tea, but I I'm like contemplating between the peacock tea and the peacock sweater, so I didn't buy anything from there. I also just got the Vita sweater. I just thought, again, I just am something in me is just really into lace and like chunky lace uh, with a really good mohair. Just, I feel like it would just make a dress look really elegant and perfect for the springtime. Maybe not for summer, but I've also been really liking the look of just tying sweaters around like either this way or over the shoulders just as like an added warmth and also just makes the outfit again elegant chic i'm just thinking about really nice classic timeless pieces uh, that would look good with essentially everything and i think that is one that is not super basic but something that's a little bit different but also super 
uh, wearable for a capsule wardrobe. I love that these are like based off of different designers. Um, so for summer, I have been really excited about Lapole. I love Lapole. I just did a test knit for her for the Olymp sweater vest and I loved it. I love the scrap projects. I bought her, um, I bought her beanie and her balaclava, but the, again, those aren't really summery pieces, but I think they're super cool and really easy uh, pieces to use for a lot of scraps if you have made a lot of projects. But for summer pieces, I've been really excited. I really need to make the cloud skirt and the apple dress. I think these are perfect, just kind of layering pieces on top of bikinis, or if you're going on a vacation or something, or you're going, or you're going swimming, you can wear these on top of it, and like you can still see like the sexiness of the bikini, but you're still covered up, and you can kind of go out and feel perfectly covered in the summer heat. So I need, I need to get those done before. I, I mean, I'm not going anywhere, but like I need it done for like the future. If I do go on like a tropical vacation, then you know I'm ready. Okay, next again, how can we forget Petite Knit? I think I'm always gonna have her somewhere in these planning videos and I never get to them during the season. I always get it to like the next season, but at least I'm doing them. I think that's all that matters. Petite Knit is coming out with a poppy tee. It'll probably be out by the time I put this up but it is a gorgeous tee it's knit in cashmere i treated myself to some black cashmere because i think again a classic black tee is just so easy to style it would just look good with absolutely everything and i feel like i'll get a lot of wear out of it and it'll feel amazing on my skin i think some other tees that i have also been really excited about is the no frill sweater i think i really want to do that in a tee version i saw someone do it on ravelry and it looked amazing i hope i have a picture uh i think she did a sweater but or maybe a tee i don't remember but it was gorgeous and i need to do it now and then i've also been really into making a mod tee so i bought the mod tee such a long ago like ready to make it but i just don't know it felt a little too like mohair too much like a sweater so i feel like if i can get that to look more like a t-shirt I would love to. I have some alpaca cotton that I would love to use for it. And I think it would go amazing. I have been working on the Elizabeth blouse and I really like, um, I really like the collar of it. So I think I need more of those. And then just some other bips and bobs. I have been obsessed with sets. I think if it wasn't clear from the beginning of this video, I have been really into just like a, a sweater or like a shirt and then a skirt kind of set. I just think it would look so good for the spring and summer. I don't know why it's just been really getting to me, but I think I need to make a set like yesterday. I think Wool and Beyond has some really good sets. Uh, I really like that you can buy both the shirt and like the bottom for cheaper if you buy it together. I, again, need to start doing something like that. Tiffany get on this set. The two sets that she has is the hill set and the thin set. I am obsessed with the thin one. I just feel like this, it's like the thinness of the sweater and the skirt is just super short. It just, you pair that together with like a leather jacket, maybe some tights, like some loafers. You are good to go. I'm just scared because it's three millimeter needles and that's a lot to ask of me, but it's so cute that I feel like I need to do it. And then just the hill, I don't know how you pronounce it, hill set, the top and the bottom. I think it's really cute. I think it's really nice that you can style them separately as well. Just knowing that you can style them together, but them being very much their own pieces separately is just so nice. Like, I feel like it would be really nice for just like if you're going to something a little bit fancier, you just want to wear something that's just like unique. You know, you, you know, never, no one's ever going to really wear anything like that. And then just lastly, I've been looking more into the knitting for all of uh, patterns. Again, really sad. I heard that the uh, pre-order for their English book has been delayed. So, you know, crying on the inside. So we had to buy some patterns. I, if you are really into ballerina tops or that like ballet core-esque look, I love the late summer wrap. I bought it <laughs> because we talked about it on stream, but it is so delicate and so gorgeous. I feel like it's um, like the daintier version of the levitate top or the levitate wrap. Like that one is more like for outerwear baggy styling where this one is more like you wear it really close to the skin and you look really elegant uh, wearing it. So. 
I highly recommend that. And then uh, I really want to knit the Barbrose top. I'm going to make the blouse when the book gets to me, but when that time comes, I don't know. So hopefully when it's in English, I'm going to make the Barbrose top because it's so, I don't know, something about that lace pattern is so perfect. And the way that they did the tank top just around the collar, it just works super well. And I just need to find some yarn for it and I'll make it like immediately because it needs to be in like my wardrobe immediately. <laughs> and yeah, on the stream today as well, we were talking about the honey bucket bag and I feel like that bag would look so cute um, just for like maybe again, spring, summer weddings. If you have somewhere to go, like again, like a little shawl, like just some like little accessory that just adds a little bit more to your outfit, go for it. I feel like the honey bucket bag would look so good like low-key for my wedding, but like also like if you're a wedding guest, it would be to die for. Uh, I was actually chosen to do a test knit for the Clementis sweater. I am so excited about doing this one. I'm going to be knitting it in a white. It's just a kind of similar, uh, similar sweater to the Jacquemus sweater. It just goes into a diagonal. It's so beautiful on her and I cannot wait to style it and look super cute and dainty. I feel like with a slick bun, maybe some jeans, like baggy jeans in a really tight, like sweater top would look again amazing just so many ideas so many exciting things i guess we'll see in the upcoming months if i can even get to any of these plans i hope that gave you guys some ideas i want to make i think it's really hard to find inspiration and find like really good knits but then once you find it you become overwhelmed and then it's almost like you don't even know what to knit anymore again i haven't tried any of these knits i can't necessarily recommend them but these are things that i'm excited to try in the future hopefully and kind of ideas that i have been looking at recently but yeah thank you guys so much for watching if you guys don't know i'm on patreon we stream on YouTube as well as posting up videos. We have a Discord channel and I'm on Instagram, so definitely go and check me out. Uh, if you like this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and push the notification bell if you want to be notified when I post videos because we know I don't post very frequently. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.